Today we're looking at a new AI tool that can turn real life videos into different kinds of animated videos, it can turn anime images into realistic images, and it even has just a general image generator in there, and an image to video tool just like we first saw with Runway ML, Pika Labs, Moon Valley, and now Domo AI. That's what it's called, so if you go to the link in the description, domoai.app, you'll come to this very simple landing page. So like it or hate it, like a lot of these AI tools, it uses Discord. So just hit start in Discord. So if we have a look at the how to use, you can see we have the slash video, which transforms your video into a different style. We have slash animate, which turns an image into a video. We have slash real, which turns an anime into a real photo. And generate turns words into art. So let's just dive in. If we head over to one of the video generate channels and we'll type in slash video, you want to click this and then we just drag in our video that we want. So I just dragged in this clip of Jack Sparrow and then we can fill in a prompt just to guide the AI to make it a little bit better. We're going to try it with just Jack Sparrow. So we're not actually describing what he's doing in this scene. And then you just hit enter and you will be presented with this menu. First of all, here we can choose our video style. There's quite a few to choose from. So we got flat color anime style, Japanese live Chinese ink painting and then we have some of the illustrations 3d cartoon style which I think is really cool pixel style and a couple others so let's just start off with the anime v1 flat color anime then you can choose if you want it to refer to your source video more or to the prompt a little bit more which one it weighs heavier in my brief experience I believe it works better if you refer to the source video more but obviously you can just try that out yourself Duration you can choose between 3, 5 and 10 seconds. 10 seconds does take quite a while to generate, up to probably like 10 minutes. I'm not quite sure though. So let's just do 5 and hit start. Alright, so here's the original video just so you can see it again. And here's what it came up with with the first one. And here's the same clip with a few different art styles. Really cool, I love the uh, 3D cartoon one. Okay, now I'm gonna try it again with this Lord of the Rings clip here. Here's the original. And here it is in Japanese anime style. So as you can see, it doesn't actually recognize that Elrond is talking or the hobbits here who have long hair now suddenly. Looks kind of good though. It kind of keeps Hugo's amazing eyebrows there. Not so much here. Still it looks good though. So I guess you could use this for clips that don't require any dialogue. Like if people are talking, you won't see their mouths move. So I guess for a lot of other use cases, that's fine. Now it doesn't always do a good job. Here's another Lord of the Rings clip I tried from the beginning of the movie. A wizard is never late, Frodo Baggins. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> That's not great. I did type in Gandalf talking. I'm interested to try this anime into real photo. So all we have to do is type in slash real. So let's try this image of Monkey D. Luffy. You can actually give it a prompt as well if you just click next to here and hit prompt. So maybe this will help. So here's what it came up with. It did cut off the top of his head, but I guess it does look really good. It kept the same pose of the image and pretty high quality. All right, so I tried again with this image of Kirito. Here's the original and here's the real version. I mean, it's not terrible. Again, it cut off more of his head. So let's try full body version. All right, so here's the original and here's the real version. This one I'm really impressed with actually. It looks really good. All right, here's Naruto and the real version is this. <laughs> kind of looks even younger, but definitely, definitely not bad. Very realistic looking image. Let's see what happens if we do slash animate without typing anything. By the way, I'm constantly researching new AI tools and ways to use them. If you want to see more of this type of video, please subscribe and leave a like on this video. It will really help me out. So without any direction, this is what it gave us. Obviously not very good. So let's see what happens if we try that again. But in motion prompts, we say turning head left. And here's what it gave us. Looks better. He's not actually turning his head like I asked it to. Still, it looks pretty cool. There's not a lot of motion in that picture anyway. So if you do a picture of like a, a vehicle or something that moves, that'll obviously work better. Now about the pricing of this tool, you know, I usually bring you free AI tools and I'll definitely continue doing that. It's just when something new like this comes along, even though it's a paid tool, I do like to show it. Here are the different subscription plans. So the basic plan is 10 bucks a month. That'll give you 500 credits a month. If you get the $20 plan, you get 1200 credits a month. And for two dollars you can always purchase an extra hundred credits and here is how many credits 
each generation costs. If you like this video, you'll probably like this one as well. It's about a really cool, completely 100% free video upscaler I found. Otherwise, have a great day and I'll see you next time.